Ed Excel, A Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 14. A scientist is studying a population of mice on an island. The number of mice n in the population t months after the start of the study is modelled by the equation n equals 900 over 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.5 t. We want to find the number of mice in the population at the start of the study. So at the start of a study t is equal to 0. So putting this into our equation it gives us n equals 900 over 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25 times 0. So the power of e is 0, e to the 0 is 1, which gives us 900 over 3 plus 7, 900 over 10. So the answer to part a is 90. We want to show that the rate of growth dn by dt is given by dn by dt equals n times 300 minus n all over 1200. So we've got our formula for n. We want to differentiate this. Now as this is a fraction with a function of t on the bottom, I usually find it easier to rewrite this out. Instead of a fraction, have it as a negative power. We're then using repeated applications of a chain rule. We can differentiate this. We've got the 900 at the beginning. The minus 1 from the power of the bracket will come to the front, as will the minus 0.25 from the power of the e, and the 7e to the minus 0.25t itself. They're all going to come out to the front, which leaves us with the original bracket at the end and the power lowered by 1 to get minus 2. Tidying this up a little bit, putting it all back into a fraction, we get 900 times 0.25 times 7 e to the minus 0.25t on the top. Note that the two negatives from before have cancelled out. And on the bottom we've got the 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t all squared. Now we want to try and get this into the form in the question. So we're going to try and get n back into this. So we can see that we can take out one lot of n. So 900 over the 3 plus 7e. Bring that to the front which leaves the remainder of the fraction is 0.25 times 7e to the minus 0.25t all over 3 plus 7e and so on. At this point it's a little bit tricky, there are multiple ways to do this, but one way to do this is by looking at our original formula, multiplying up the bottom, we get that n times 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t is equal to 900. Dividing by n, gives us that 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t is equal to 900 over n. This will help us deal with the right hand fraction. And taking away 3 from both sides we can also see that 7e to the minus 0.25t is equal to 900 over n minus 3. So going back to what we've got so far with dm by dt, the left hand fraction, well that's just equal to n, on the top of the right hand fraction we're going to replace the 7e with what we've just said that is 900 over n minus 3 and we're going to replace the bottom of that fraction with 900 over n which again we've just worked out. So now we've got dn by dt is equal to n times by 0.25 times 900 over n minus 3 all over 900 over n. Multiplying top and bottom of the right hand fraction by n gives us n times 0.25 brackets 900 minus 3n over 900. So we're getting a lot closer to what we need now. Dividing top and bottom by 3, we get n times 0.25, 300 minus n over 300. And now looking at what we're aiming for, the only difference is that 0.25 on the top and there's 300 on the bottom instead of 1200. So times the top and bottom by 4 gives us n times 300 minus n all over 1200 as required. For part C we're told that the rate of growth is a maximum after t months. We're going to find according to the model the value of t. The way to do this is to look at how dm by dt is written. So that's n equals 300 minus n over 1200. 
that's going to form a symmetrical graph where the maximum due to the symmetry is halfway between 0 and 300 so n is going to equal 300 over 2 which is 150 so we're going to get the maximum when the top of the fraction is 150 times 300 minus 150 now we want the value of t to go with this so using our original formula replacing the n with 150 we get this multiplying at the bottom gives us 150 times 3 plus 7e to the minus 0.25t equals 900 dividing both sides by 150 take away 3 from both sides then divide both sides by 7 gives us e to the minus 0.25t equals 3 sevenths taking the log natural of both sides gives us minus 0.25t equals ln 3 over 7 times it by minus 4 gives us that t equals minus 4 times ln 3 over 7 which we put into a calculator gives us a value of the t of 3.39 and finally according to the model the maximum number of mice on the island is p state the value of p we're going to do this by looking at our original formula so n is the population for n to be as large as possible we need the denominator to be as small as possible that's going to happen when e to the minus 0.25t is as close to 0 as possible so setting this to 0 we would get that p is equal to 900 over 3 plus 0 which is 300 if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.